Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Dr. Brady Salcedo here. And today we're gonna to be talking about how you can rewire your brain in 2021. Now, if we're talking about rewiring our brain, we can't not talk about something called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to change and rewire itself. It really is the ability of your brain to literally reinvent itself, create new wiring patterns, new habits, new patterns, new routines. This is a critical component of being able to rewire your brain. Now, when we're talking about neuroplasticity, there's a couple key things that we need to understand. One of the first ones is your brain wires the way that it fires, meaning the more that we do specific activities, thoughts, routines, and patterns in our life, what happens is our brain does a good job of making that easier to accomplish the next time. That can be a good thing, but that also can be a really, really bad thing, such as bad habits, bad ways of thinking, negative thought patterns, things like that. So knowing that, we also know that in order to create a new habit or to rewire our brain, we know we are gonna have to follow the same processes and go through the same repetition and consistency in order to rewire our brain in a positive way. Now, there are three things that you need in order to rewire your brain. And I think of it a lot like a GPS. In order for a GPS to work, you need a couple components. First off, you need to know one, where are you right now? You need to know where exactly are you? Where in the world are you? Because if you don't have a start point, there's no way you can figure out how to get to your next destination. The second thing you need to know is who do you want to become? Where do you want to go? How do you want to change? What does that look like? And number three, you need a plan. You need a plan of action that you know works. In today's video, we're gonna talk about those three components. Okay, so let's start with step one of our GPS system for rewiring our brain. And step one is understanding where exactly are you right now? And the key with this that I'm trying to get across here is awareness. The first step to rewiring your brain is building awareness of where you are right now, having awareness of the thought patterns that you have, having awareness of the things that are not serving you and helping you get to the next level that you wanna to get to. A lot of times we don't realize is that we have these underlying patterns thought patterns, beliefs, habits, and routines that have gotten us to where we are currently and no farther. And sometimes a lot of these patterns and beliefs are lying dormant and the key to being able to change those is starting first by building awareness of what they are so that we can recognize them in the future so that as we go through and as we go through our process and our plan of attack, we need to understand where are those roadblocks occurring so we can identify them and remove them. I think there's two really important habits for building self-awareness. One of the first ones is gonna be journaling. Journaling allows you to get your thoughts on a paper and there's something about seeing your thoughts on paper that makes it so different and can highlight really important things that you need to know about your own thought process and how you perceive certain things. And a lot of times it allows you to really look at your own thought process as a third person and can help you really identify important roadblocks that are holding you back. The other one would be meditation. Meditation is really important for blocking out all distractions and really starting to gain keen insight and awareness into our own thought process. As you're really trying to go into this zen-like focus of meditation, and really trying to find this neutral balance in your mind, what a lot of people start to realize is that these chronic patterns and thoughts start to enter their brain when they're meditating. And I always say this is an important time to write those down because those are key indicators of things that are constantly coming into your mind that are really holding you back. Now, when you use these self-awareness tools like journaling and meditation, what you're really doing is you're building a filter in your brain. You're building a filter for your brain to identify the roadblocks in your way of thinking in your life that are holding you back and keep you stuck where you are. When you start to build more awareness of those things that are holding you back, that filter starts to become more active. You start to recognize those things more and more in your daily life and daily thought process, and it gives you more tools and resources at your disposal to be able to stop them in their tracks. All right, let's move on to step two of our GPS system for rewiring your brain, which is going to be knowing where it is you want to go. This is where a lot of visualization comes into play. Now that you started to build more awareness of where you are, now we gotta figure out where do we want to go? Where's our next destination? What do we wanna to get to? And this is where the fun part begins because this is where you start to build this new version of you that you want to become. So one of the first things to identify is what does that look like? In order for your brain to work with you to achieve the goals that you want, your brain needs a clear picture of what it is you're going after. Unclear targets don't get hit, clear targets 
do. So your brain needs a clear picture of what it is you are trying to achieve so it can help you get there and identify the most valuable opportunities to help you get there faster. So with that being said, we need to make sure we identify and get a clear image and picture of what it is that we want to achieve. So if you want to rewire your brain in a certain way, let's say you want to be more confident. One of the first things I'll tell people is imagine what it would look like if you were the most confident version of you. Really get that picture in your mind. Once you have that picture in your mind, think about what does that more confident version of you look like? How do they dress? How do they walk? How do they talk? When they step out to step into their day, what are the thoughts that they are thinking? When they get into a tricky situation, maybe they're more stressed, what are they thinking to themselves? And what you wanna do is write all this down so that you create a much clearer image for your brain to be able to know this is what we are after, this is what we're trying to avoid. So that way, as you start going through your life to try to rewire your brain, your brain knows exactly what it is it's trying to go after. If you're trying to create change, it is so important to write all of those things down that you are visualizing in your mind for what you want to achieve. Because when your brain actually sees that written on paper, it becomes more tangible to your brain and gives it a second type of input that helps sink it in deeper into your mind. Not only that, it's something that you can constantly look back on so your mind can always get refreshed and constantly updated as to what it's always trying to achieve. So that's why it's so important to make sure you write down what your visualization is so you can always go back to it and replay that story of the best version of yourself that you're going to achieve for your mind. And this is something that I would actually look at and read to yourself every single day. All right, so this is the next step after step number two, but I told you there was only three steps, so we're gonna call this step number two B, which is to create a more changeable foundation. If you want to help your brain rewire itself, it's not enough just to think a certain way. We need to give our brain every sort of advantage to be able to help it to change. That means we're going to want to use every tool at our disposal to help our brain become more neuroplastic. Now, there's so many different ways that we can, can do it, but I want to highlight two specific ways, which is going to be exercise and nutrition. These are two of the most potent ways you can get your brain to become more flexible, adaptable, and changeable. So as you go throughout this process and working your action plan to rewire your brain, you know that you are giving your brain every opportunity and advantage to be able to change super fast. Now, if you want to learn more about how to create a more neuroplastic brain and learn more about some of the most potent ways to enhance your neuroplasticity, make sure you click on this link up here. It's a video I did talking all about that so you can click on that one and learn all about those other steps so you can use those for yourself. Now I want to stay on neuroplasticity just for one quick minute here and in particular I want to talk about cardiovascular exercise and neuroplasticity. Cardiovascular exercise has been shown to promote more BDNF in your brain. BDNF stands for brain derived neutrophic factor. BDNF is critical for promoting neuroplasticity, which is your brain's ability to change itself. So by using more cardiovascular exercise, you're gonna allow your brain to be more flexible, more adaptable, which means as you're trying to promote your own self-improvement, Cardiovascular exercise is gonna help you further your own personal growth and development by producing more BDNF and therefore making your brain more neuroplastic. Not only that, but nutrition is also critically important for building and maintaining neuroplasticity, mainly because when you have poor nutrition, poor nutrition has been shown to increase inflammation in the brain and more inflammation in the brain creates a less neuroplastic brain or also a less changeable brain. So by promoting a healthy lifestyle and having good nutrition, which you can learn about in that video I did for you on neuroplasticity, you can really start to make sure that you're giving your brain every tool and resource that it needs to be able to rewire itself so that way you're giving yourself every advantage. The two key components I would really hone in on are things like omega-3s, in particular DHA has been really shown to enhance neuroplasticity in the brain. It's also one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories naturally in the world that you can consume, but also it's been shown to promote neuroplasticity so your brain can rewire itself. Step number three is you are going to need an action plan and preparation. You need both of these, trust me, because if you have just an action plan and no preparation, you're gonna lose out on your willpower. Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but preparation prevents poor performance. So if you have your action plan, you know what you need to do to rewire your brain, you know how you wanna change this year, you need to make sure that you're preparing as much as you can in advance, because if you're not preparing, guess what? You're gonna start using too much willpower along the way, and eventually your willpower tank's gonna run dry, and guess what happens? 
your brain likes going back to old habits. So you wanna make sure that you're preparing as much as possible in advance the day before, so you're using less willpower as possible, so your brain can just go to the next step without having to think about it, and that's how true change gets created in your life and in your mind. So now that you're reaching the end of this video, I want you to go ahead, make your action plan for what you're gonna do next. So you're gonna go back, you're gonna start building more awareness using meditation and journaling. You're then gonna take that next step and you're gonna visualize the next steps that you wanna create for your life. And you're gonna build this filter that your mind is now going to recognize for what it wants to achieve and what it wants to go away from. Then from there, you're gonna start creating your action plan. You're gonna start building in those routines and habits that that new version of you that you wanna create is going to do. Maybe that means you gotta start exercising on a regular basis. Maybe that means you gotta start going for walks at lunch. You gotta start eating better. You gotta start thinking more positive. You gotta stop hanging around those people that are constantly flooding your mind with negativity. You gotta start creating that action plan and start getting at it. You gotta start preparing for it, prepare for it in advance, so that way as you start using these tools, you're gonna ensure your success using this model of rewiring your brain in 2021. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Hopefully you found this one useful. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up down there. That lets people know this is a good video and they should watch it. Number two is if you enjoy videos like this that are gonna help you reinvent yourself, change your mind and your life, make sure you click that red subscribe button down there because that's gonna let you know when we got a new video coming out that you can check out that's gonna help you live a better life. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.